Hey guys, Lyra Lynx here. Unfortunately, the audio for some of this video has been altered. While I was filming, having my sister film rather, um, we had some problems with the audio cutting out, and this is due to the way that you hold my phone. If you happen to place a finger over the tiny little, you know, microphone area, then it completely muffles everything, and it's a problem because when you're recording horizontally, you're more likely to cover up that hole, and that's the way that I have to film, obviously, so that it looks correct and doesn't have so many black lines narrowing it in. So, for a lot of this video, I ended up having to dub over what I had said previously, so if it looks a little weird, that is the reason why. But I still really wanted to post this video because I did put some effort into making it and I had a lot of fun trying on this cosplay and I wanted to show it to you guys before I go out to Comic Con this weekend. So uh, I apologize for that and I will try to do better with future videos but thank you to anyone here who supports me and is going to continue to watch this video. It means a lot to me so let's just get into it. Hey guys, Lyra Lynx here. Hey guys, Lyra Lynx here with some more packages. This box has two wigs for my Kake Gurui cosplay that I'm going to do. I'm going to cosplay as both Jibami Yumeko and Momobami Kirari. And then here I finally have my outfit in, the cosplay itself. So I'm gonna open these up, try them on, and see how everything looks. I'm super excited. November 8th through 10th, I'll be attending Comic Con in Grand Rapids with my sister and hopefully a few of my good friends. So, it should be a fun experience. If you've never seen it, I did make a vlog last year from it and I plan to do so again, so it's going to be a really fun, exciting experience. Alright. We've got the loud bubble packaging that my mom likes to play with, so we'll save that for her. <laughs> and then, first of all, we've got the Jabami long black hair wig. Ooh. And Kirari's wig, which I'm like worried that I'll accidentally ruin the braids of before the con, but hopefully that does not happen. So first, I'll open up the Yumiko wig. It even comes with the wig cap inside of it, so that's cool. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Wigs are always something. And for some reason it's got a tie around it, so let's get rid of that. We don't need that. <laughs> and I can't seem to get this off. It's stuck on the hook, I think. Yep. There we go. I've got a long wig. So I'll take my scrunchie here. And let me see how this goes putting it on. It's probably the worst bun I've done in my life, but hopefully it'll be good enough to put this on. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I always get so excited when I get new anything. go in. You know, it would help if I used the wig cap that they so kindly included for me. What am I doing? I'm forgetting all of the steps because it's been so long since I've been able to cosplay. <laughs> Alright. Oh gosh, if it could not get caught on my Sailor Moon earrings, that would be fantastic. I don't really feel like ripping out my ears yet. Sorry Van Gogh, but I do not stand that appearance. Okay. Yikes. I'm scared. Wigs are hard. <laughs> I'm like the grudge. 
fudge. <laughs> Hold. <gasps> this might be a good time for me to uh, locate a mirror, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I need to do a little bit of work here and calm this out a bit so that it'll go down more nicely, but here we go. Got the bangs and everything. So this will be the wig for Jibami Yumeko. And I also really wanted to do Kirari, so I decided to buy a wig for her as well. Obviously the costume will work for both of them. I just kind of need to get like frilly things for the end of Kirari's, but I can buy that later. That's definitely in my plans. So I guess I'll put this one away now and I'll try on Kirari's wig. Bald! 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 My eyes! <laughs> Oh god! I didn't expect them to be separate pieces. <laughs> Just like separate bright. Oh, you clipped them on. This is gonna be a nightmare. Okay, cool. Great. I like. I like that. Oh no. They expect me to piece things together. I can hardly hold my life together, let alone a wig. Okay, so here's the first part of. Kirari's hair, which looks really weird without the braids. Oh gosh. What is this gonna look like just on its own? That's gonna be weird. Okay. I'm just gonna tuck that bun on a bit. Dude, I'm gonna look like a frat boy that just like dyed their hair and thought they were cool. Hold on. <laughs> like, you know. I'm really artistic. I'm majoring in music. I'm just so sick of Vanessa right now. I really think that my heart is leading me towards Patricia. <laughs> I just feel like a douchebag with this hair like this. Okay, so that means I gotta fix it. Let's see. It's like this clip right here, and this is this looks complicated to put on, and I'm afraid. Like I have to physically do this myself. Hi. <laughs> I don't even know. This is weird. I've never done. A wig like this before. Hey, this isn't even, and I promise to anybody screaming at me that I'll fix it at some. Obviously, it's gonna be better when I'm doing like the actual full cosplay, but this is what I have here to start off with. Also, I managed to find like the perfect shade of lipstick pretty much to be Kirari, so I will show that to you. I also got some clear nail polish because I don't remember if they have colored nails or not, but if they don't, then like I remember that their nails do look nice in this show, just like with the visuals. So I'm gonna make my nails look nice and like get them all clear coated and beautiful. So we're gonna try to do that. But I had to look for a nice blue for Kirari. So, so I found, so I found a shade of lipstick for Kirari. I had a friend suggest I get like a clear gloss to put over top of it to accent the color more, but this does look good on its own. I also need to find some mascara to use, this white since Kirari has white eyelashes. I want to match it with her white hair as best that I can, so I'm also probably going to put the white mascara on my eyebrows so those will match and I can have an accurate cosplay. I obviously want to do my makeup to tie each part of the cosplay together fully, but yeah, now I have my two wigs for each day, and I'm going to try on the rest of this cosplay for you guys with all of the wigs and the supplies that I have right now, so I'm really excited. 
I hope you all enjoy. This whole process really began because I so much, like, I love this anime so much and I really, really, really wanted to dress up as Jibami, so she's who I am going to do for this video. Put on the red lipstick and I'm gonna dress up, put on that wig and transform into Jibami. Everything in here is like so cool. So we have this piece, but I'm not sure what this is supposed to be at the moment. I'm sure I'll figure it out as I'm putting it together. But we also have the tag here <clears throat> as a house pet, and I dig it. It looks pretty nice. There's only like a tiny imperfection on this side, but I'll just wear it on this side so it'll be good. And I do like the quality of this. It seems pretty thick and like it's not gonna just immediately break, so that's good. And then of course we have the actual blazer, the jacket here. And it does look really nice. I'm hoping it'll fit well. I decided to go with medium instead of small since the last time I ordered a small. It was still fit me, but it was like a little bit tighter and I want to have more room. Then here we have the skirt and ribbon. And it looks really nice. I always see these little designs the mangakas will draw into the skirts and apparel. And I feel like People don't detail it in real life very nicely like that, so I do like that. And then of course an undershirt. Alright, so here is the final transformation. Altogether the outfit looks pretty good. Please excuse the scab on my knee. Uh, I might have fallen down the stairs, who knows. <laughs> Things happen in life. But it should be fully healed by the time of the con. and. I really dig the wig. I always like playing with wigs whenever I wear them. It's so different to like just have a whole new hairstyle. Who needs to dye your hair when you can just like have a ton of different wigs and then put them on and be whoever you want to be. So I like the quality of everything for the most part. It's just like a little bit weird to maneuver it in like the shoulder areas. Honestly, I'm used to that at this point, because even though a lot of companies try to do American sizes, I am not a very big person. I'm five foot four. I don't weigh that much. And, like, <laughs> this is a medium, but I feel like maybe I could have gone up to large. This works for me, but it seems like there aren't a lot of size options if a small person like me has to go to a large. So, eh. But... Overall, I'm pretty happy, and I get to live out my cosplay fantasy. Of course, I can also be Kirari with this. I just need to, like, grab some ruffles for the ends of the sleeves here. And I won't go through all that transformation today, but I will show that off at a later point. So this is what I'm going to be wearing to Grand Rapids Comic Con. I'm going to be both Yumiko and Kirari, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Everything is just pretty good in the end, so yeah, I really like the house pet necklace and everything, so I'm very happy. Yes, I am vlogging. Okay, cool. I need content for my channel because I'm not sure if I want to wear it's, these it's boots not or not. it's not in a good condition right now. <laughs> but that's, that's okay. I'm a college kid. I'm also very broke, and more broke now that Ooh. I'm coming here because I'm going to spend all of my life savings Same. on merch. I, I kind of thought that was how it went when you went to Comic Con. You just spend yeah, pretty all of it. pretty much. Like you you just I'm get rid of all it. of it. You don't need I money need anymore. My hero. You sell your soul to anime. If I cannot find Deku, I might just, just die. I'll just stay here. I forever. need to sue you because she's my wife, <gasps> and if you she's don't agree, awesome. then <laughs> yes, I am all in cosplay for Kirari Momobami from Kakegurui. So I need Kakegurui merch. Like, if they have any figures, I'm going to spend my entire bank account on them because I need. I would hope that they had Beyond the Boundary figures, but they're actually only like 
a couple of them and they're super limited edition and a lot of money, so I don't expect them to have anything like that. Fair enough. Nor do I have the money for something so limited. <laughs> they're like two hundred dollars for one figure. And it's like some nerds have way too much money, I can't relate. Asian nerds. And I'm also here with ah, my what sister. Hello. I don't know she got to see me like I transform into this and it was it was like a crackhead head experience. I've got like white eyelashes and I had to make my eyebrows white. It's so weird. And I had to walk like this into gas stations. You know, Ray. there's one way to become less shy. Just do weird stuff and... Ray, should I keep it or no? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not gonna look weird stuff. You have like full on I told you, I, I'm going in. You're going in. I'm going in. Are you Cowboy Deadpool? Yes, I am. Is there like... Okay, so obviously I haven't finished all of Deadpool. Is there like a specific like scene that this is from? Or a comic or... Comic-Con? People cosplay as Deadpool and so many things. So you just want to be Cowboy Deadpool because you're badass and have your own ideas here? Yes. Excellent. I dig it. And Mystica has the scariest cosplay of being a normie. <laughs> With, like, some shirt with words that we don't know what they say that she got from our friend Jinx. Fabulous. You don't know. Maybe there's Japanese viewers. They For all know. we know, it could be it's saying butt boys. boobs, but who knows. On know. her back, says oh. Jimin. Well. On her front, says Bang Tang Boys, in either Japanese or Chinese. Oh. You are welcome. When did you... The more Japanese? you know. I am a BTS fan. I am oh, an army. Oh, oh. never mind. <laughs> I, I didn't realize I was BTS. Yeah, so well, now you know. It's like some band. We have to look this up now. Oh, Bitch, oh, please, oh, where oh, is no, my don't, phone? Don't, 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 don't. You started it. Though. The you, copyright you started begins. It. The copyright like, begins. Yo, you started the super fan. That's not good. On my home screen, you will find V, also known as Kim Tae Hoon. <laughs> on my <laughs> other home screen. I had to hold her back last Comic Con. Jailing oh, all of the BTS stuff. Uh, oh, he's actually beautiful. Okay. He, they are gorgeous <laughs> human beings. <laughs> Their songs are very catchy, too, by the way. Ooh, and look at this. We have. Hold that thought. Here, here, going. Ooh, what? We have a little K pop boy over here. <laughs> They're good. They're good. I don't care who they are. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. We have a crackhead <laughs> farmer cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta make sure my hair's on right. If he's a southern belle. <laughs> what I do declare. <laughs> what I do declare. The lighting in here is terrible when you go at a certain angle because you can't see nothing anymore. Actually, that's worse. I believe that, yeah, like, from this angle is, like, about the best. Ooh. Ooh. Work it. Suave. He's going to seduce all of the Comic-Con ladies. <laughs> Alright, that gives me my <laughs> <laughs> I know. Really good quality. We have Yeehaw just... Deadpool and, uh, over ooh. here. <laughs> no, it smells so nice. Huh? I washed it yesterday. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, well, it have was... Have you got gloves? Because Deadpool technically skin looks like absolute shit. Yeah. Yeah. These take six it's hours It's what to happens wash. when you've it's gone through ridiculous. some stuff. I guess so. When you go through shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, okay. When you get Delicious. cancer, and then you decide to do interesting things in life. Can you have me button these? Yes. Mm -hmm. Aha! It's coming together. There we go. Okay, let's test yeah. the subject. Woo! Ow! Ay. Check this Ow. out, ladies. All you need is your glove. This is perfect. Ah. And all these eyes are cool. Right. It's a really well-made mask. I am actually highly impressed. It cost a lot. I bet. How much did it cost? Uh, about 180, 200 a ship. Ooh. But it shipped from Russia. So, I mean. Yeehaw Deadpool, man. This is awesome. Plus it was on Etsy, which is <laughs> never cheap ever. Yeah, that's true. So we've got an evil queen, Deadpool, and my crackhead. <laughs> Cowboy <laughs> <Look>. Deadpool. <laughs> Well organized. I am people. also cosplaying from Kakeguri tomorrow. Just you a different character. The oh. main character. Oh. 
They're fake pockets. Yeah. Yes. No, uniform, that's the worst. My uniform has fake pockets. And I my uniform has it. real pockets, and I'm that's so happy that this actually works. I have no pockets. Have it is just pockets. the right size for like, this phone and nothing I else. I hate fake pockets. <laughs> oh, wait. Anybody. I have a pocket. I just got headphones. <laughs> I hate pockets. No pocket. Fake pockets. Ooh, zero focus okay, on this so camera. It's so terrifying when you take the eyes off. Uh. Yeah, it is. It's, it's so cool, terrifying. though. I love this. Best outfit, so 10 out of 10. Let's get some chimichangas. <laughs> Let's go. Like <laughs>
we're all just kind of chilling in the hotel room and we're thinking about ordering some Domino's garlic twists and just kind of hanging out together, so I'm pretty excited for that. <laughs> of course, tomorrow we'll be going back. I hope to film more. I'm going to show off my merchandise that I currently have and whatever I happen to pick up the next day. And I hope to be a little bit more active just because we were settling settling into everything tonight. I wanted to just do a little bit less, but it's so beautiful out here at night. The lights are just so gorgeous. Everything looks incredible. The water, just everything. So maybe I'll catch a little bit of that on film. should be able to get your values worth. Oh yeah, I, I did. Hello I did sweetie. Flirtation. That's all flirtatious. You definitely don't want that. Oh my gosh. Aww. Oh. That's awesome. And this is the, the watch that she's wearing. I got a boo watch. I'm keeping this. Family guy. Oh my god, Cup. that's perfect. Toaster. That's not a coaster, it's a koozie. Koozie, what? You know what I meant. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, I wonder. I'm in for it. Alright, solid, solid. Comic. Penny Dreadful, okay. I'm in for that. This thing's cool. I'm not sure who this is, but it does look really cool, so. There's a lot of like extra books that I didn't know was gonna be in there, but they all actually look. Really it gives cool. you new reading material. I mean, that's great. I love reading, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. I didn't know they made a Black House copy. That's super oh, badass. Do you were just go at this. <laughs> I'll, I'll listen. Like I have a YouTube channel, I can make use of. I can do something I with figured. this. And this one, I'm actually really. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. It's a bank. Oh, man. Yeah. This thing is... I like that they have to, like, protect the sword. Yes. Protect... This will cut you. Protect at all costs. That's... Yeah. That is, like, what... That's probably the coolest item you've shown so far, in my opinion. Definitely my favorite item. <laughs> is that Ray? Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. So cute. They went heavy on the Star Wars. They really did. But I, I live for it. That's awesome. Oh, she says stuff too? And there's uh, oh turtles and pieces and patch. Wow, okay. They went here. This is a big box. There's still so much. Oh my gosh. What even? Back. 
grand reveal video. <laughs> I remember reading those in elementary school. That brings back this memories. Shows you, like, the variety of stuff that, that's in here. Yeah. Give me a spatula. <laughs> I'm in because I actually it looks like a no bass spatula. Cook it up, Deadpool. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Huh. Yeah. All right. It's a wristband. Oh, this is cool. It's a Wonder Woman desk clock. Ooh. This one's cool too. Street Fighter. Now there's some old school shit. Oh my gosh, it's freaking shop. That's so cute. Aw. I could never possibly watch all of the episodes of One Piece at this point, though. I've never seen it. I haven't seen a lot of them. That's cute, though. What? Yoink. I probably not gonna want half this stuff. Oh my gosh. Yoink. This thing I think is pretty cool. I have claimed! I have claimed the cute! Supernatural scar. Oh, that's really cool. I actually need to watch it. I only have ever watched random episodes when my friends have like, oh! Bank. Oh, I was gonna bucks. ask, cause like, a, as I flipped out two, I was like, like a legitimate Game Boy? What? No, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a box, but I haven't opened it yet, so I kind of want to check it out. Ah. Big reveal, bigly it's huge. Definitely oh, definitely a box, but it looks awesome. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Oh yeah. That's so legit. Yeah. You press the buttons. Well, not really, but it looks like it. Oh, it changes. Look. Oh. Are you looking at it? That's so cool. Oh, I'm going to need your help to repack this, Jeff, by the way. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. It was a big Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm not going to pack it. So what is that? It's a belt. It's just a gun belt. Oh. Who would have came handy before I did the cosplay? <laughs> oh, sticky notes. Wow. I just sketched sticky notes. Cool. What more could you want in your life? I know. They gave me an army gift. Like, they give everything, I swear. It's just crazy how big of a box this is. Nuts. So... I hear people talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer all the time, and I never knew what it even was. Exclusive item. Okay. Cards. It's supposed to be if we were still staying at the hotel, we could play, or we could play later. We could play later. And then we could gamble kakegurui style. No, because then you would win. Just because I'm cosplaying a character that would win doesn't mean that I personally would win, because my luck is absolute crap. It's garbage. Oh, whoa. Do you want it? No. no. I mean, no. I wouldn't know how to do it. I just wanted to capture it. Oh, I don't know what to do with it. But this thing's kind of cool. Older, but... Wow. It's one of those older Hulk Hogan lunchboxes. Sweet. I don't even know what this is. I thought it was socks, but it doesn't look like socks. No, it's definitely not. It might be one of those mask things. I have one of those too, though. I feel like already this is definitely worth the buy. Yeah. <laughs> this, I would say, would be good. What is this? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out later. Maybe. I think it's supposed to go over. I'll find out. We'll have to see. Yeah. It's very small. I think that was just working out. Dr. Moon. Beautiful. I don't know if you watched Dr. 
No, I don't, but I have a lot of friends that are into it. This is what I was talking about. It's an Attack on Titan mask. That's so cool. Now you can be a man-eating titan. Yes. See, I think it was supposed to be the same thing. Oh, whoa. Yes, Brendan. Transform. It looks like it should be higher up, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I have to work on it. It feels pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. That's what I was trying to Very about. cool, Kanye. <laughs> Did you see the Donald Trump cosplayer? No. That was something. There are certain things I wish I could catch. Oh my gosh, I see Rick and Morty. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's a custom Assassin's Creed cup. Perfect for you. For sure. Nothing better than killing people from behind. Guardians of the Galaxy, alright. It's a 3D magnet. Oh, cool. It's supposed to be a sticker. I don't really know what this is. It looks like it went to some packaging for something else. Look at this though. Literally a white box that says nothing. Oh, that's awesome. It's a uh, wow. US Army coin. I think it's pretty sweet. Quality. I like it. Great. Do uh, open. Oh. <laughs> Your mom is going to be like, how much money did you spend? And you'll be like, uh, let's not talk about it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about right. She's like, all this stuff couldn't have been cheap. We're going to pretend she's not going to ask. <laughs> Morty, what? <laughs> Plus, the Superman. Oh. It likes it, though. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Looks like a good cup, too. Sweet. Are you putting it back in? I guess no. And then yeah, obviously Rick and Morty. We have, oh my gosh, Yokai watch. Do you want that? Yes. You watch Yokai watch. I used to watch this anime like all the time, and I really want to play the games because it gives me like Pokemon feels and like old Japanese legends and stuff. So it's like, I think it's interesting. I think that's gamer on board. You need to put that in the car on our way out. This thing's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah. They gave the you, they gave you a freaking virtual reality headset. It's supposed to work on every phone. That's so legit. I can't even. This thing looks pretty cool, Ghostbusters. Whoa. I actually have never watched Ghostbusters, and I'm prepared to get slayed by everybody oh, for saying ooh, that. Oh, yeah, you get roughed up for that one. This Teenage one Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's 13 right there. Wow. Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. <laughs> wow, Dork well, Diaries, really? Definitely. Probably good. I haven't even read those. Like, even as a woman, I have not read those. Ouch. What's your favorite series? I love. Scream is the shit. I've never seen Archer, but. I haven't seen it, but I. Yeah. You know I know what it's about. It's like the Bob's Burgers voice actor guy, and like, yeah. I feel like this is gonna make some good jellos. I feel like we should do a video of you, like, actually using some of this stuff. Like all your cooking stuff that you're getting, we could like use those in a video. It seems I don't know what it is either. What's good, you know? Brad Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> she 
needs a small lap. That's all I get. Wait, what is this? Uh, it's a talking clip-on thing. Actually, who? Boy, you're putting everything back. What's down at the bottom? Uh, what is? I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what that is either. It's kind of cute. Great chunk of. Portals 2. It's pretty dope. Alright. BB-8. Looks like a little money thing or something. Oh, cool. Yeah. Useful cutie. <laughs> mm-hmm. And look, it is pretty cute. Yeah. Not as cute as R2-D2, but... Uh, Ouch. I will throw all the shade. Out of time. Me too. And there's Sherlock Holmes. Oh. It's supposed to be a heat cup thing. So, yeah. Have you ever watched the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock? Because that was... That was great. That was, he was attractive in that. He did a good job, too. Ooh, I didn't even see this. There's a gun. Ooh, Archer. Archer. I have another nice. patch. Go so many... Time. I feel like there are very common themes in this. What is this? Oh, that thing is huge. Oh. Yup. Just gonna drop it here. Wow. Wow. We're gonna set him back in there. It's Rick, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was Rick. <laughs> He's okay. legit. He has an arm missing. Yeah. This is a random arm. You can trade out the arms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what this was. It's a cup. Oh, that's what this was. Oh. Why does everybody want to give out the new Star Wars merch? Like the old Star Wars merch isn't gonna sell the same anymore. It will sell. Well, they ha they want to sell the new one. That's the problem. I haven't even the been able to watch sells. the new one yet. I'm yeah. going. I'm actually going to uh, next weekend with James sure. watch the new ones. Has he watched all of them? Yeah. Good. He's a huge Star Wars fan. He watches everything like the second it comes out and he can get there. I'll see if he wants to. He might flip. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Wait, Cuphead. let me see. Oh, Cuphead. Cute. <laughs> Tiny? Cuphead is an infuriating game that I would never be able to finish on my own, but I watch Max play and I like watching other people play it. Baseballs. Wow. Do you know what this is? The Schwartz Awakens? I'm so confused. Well, if that's James, he knows. I can't believe you don't know. I feel like I'm hurt. Oh, shit. There's another Walking Dead thing in there, but I want to take it out because it's at the bottom. Wow. Is it's there anything else? Walker World. And then there's like this huge Star Wars death. America's Navy. Yes. And there's this thing. Battleborn? I thought. Never heard of that. Me neither. Squeeze me, I talk. one because clearly the no I, I like the poop emoji oh really yeah i have this a lot of random hot. shit for it ha get it ha ha that's cool oh hello you're flashing me brendan so you get a lot of stuff so i honestly feel like you got I think I definitely You're, have my money. You got your worth. You're filling up like this whole table. Yeah, I, I think this thing's probably worth at least 30 or something like that. That's a lot. 30? No, okay. So like probably more. a figure like this that is large and also incredibly well crafted 
with like this much bulk. It's a piggy bank too, so yeah. I figured There is be. no way it is just 30. I feel like it has to be more than 30. 40 or 50? Yeah. I feel like this, the Rick one's definitely probably 30 plus. Like so you probably 20. got more than $100 worth out of here. And this is probably 30 or 40. Right? I mean, obviously they threw in some cheap stuff, but there's oh, a lot yeah. of legitimate things here they too. for sure have some cheap stuff. That, that's so. okay. I understand. You can't have that. <laughs> All right. We'll come back with more later. We are heading for food. I did not do a lot of vlogging in there. I always feel really awkward with lots of people. And also, Ooh. like... <laughs> and I also get nervous because, like, I don't want to, like, film all the vendors' stuff or whatever. Because I feel like they'd be like, oh, what you doing? What's up? <laughs> but I did take some pictures of some things. And I'm obviously going to compile that into everything along with the vlogs. And show off my merch when we get back. So. We did a box opening, too. Yes, that will definitely be in there probably before this part. So, yeah, show off everything that I got and that my sister got, and there will be all the photos compiled that I've taken. But right now we're on our way to get food. It was a pretty decent last day of the con. Saturday is always by far the most crowded, and so, like, I can't say that it didn't give me a lot of anxiety. There's more vendors there, though. Yeah, there were a lot of vendors. I was kind of disappointed. So if you want to spend money and get, like, the most out of it, then you probably want to go when the most amount of vendors are there on Saturday. Because I noticed that a lot of them would have the same things, but for different prices, and then you could kind of look around and see what the best deal would be. So that was good. I was very disappointed because I couldn't find any merch for Kakegurui. But I did have people recognize me and tell me that my cosplay looked good and ask for pictures and stuff, so that was awesome. I also ran into one of my old roommates from last year, so that was really, really sweet. It was a decent experience overall. And, yeah, I have a lot of stories to tell. I'll talk about the creepy guy. Luckily, we didn't run into him, but I'll give you more details on that dude later. Uh, and there was also this one guy that, like asked for my picture and said, oh, well, I could have held your purse, and I was like, mm. but no, though. <laughs> so, so, yeah, there are a couple experiences that I'll go through, and get in touch later. <laughs> Alright guys, we are now going to show off the rest of our merch, save for a couple items. We're not sure if we maybe accidentally left a couple things at the con, or if our friend happened to take the bags. We're still waiting to see that, but it had some old Pokemon comics from me, and a little finger puppet mystery this for her. So we'll hope for the best there, because that is a waste of a good $19 if it's gone. But we're gonna look at what we have here. And I'm just going to start off with this since it's big and I want to get it out of the way. <laughs> this one was free, which is, that is a horrible sound, but I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> Should I do ASMR? <laughs> no. <laughs> and free is the best price. So we have this whole Riverdale poster. Obviously, Jughead is the best character, and that's all that I need to say. Yes, 
I need to catch up in this show because I'm super far behind. I'm only in like season two. But I love it and it was free, so why not? I also have on my wrist this nice little watch with a boo on it from Mario, which I think is one of the cuter, you know, enemies. And I made the joke when it was given to me by my friend that I didn't have time for his boo shit. <laughs> so I really like that. Um, I also have on my person this little Raichu charm necklace. And I really love Raichu. He's one of my top ten favorites. And I like him better than Pikachu just because, like, He's a good chonky boy, and I just like certain aspects of the design of it better, so, yeah. Alright, I guess I'll try to do this without ruining part of the video. Though, I'm really good at ruining things with when it comes to the camera. No. So, got this shirt there at the con, and it's of the Krampus stealing some children. It's pretty cool. Now I'd like to point out that from the last con she went to, Elma Con, she's wearing some buttons she got from there. Yep. And we're going to be going again this year, I should announce. That's happening in March, so anyone who goes to Elma Con, you'll be able to see us dancing around somewhere there. Yay. <laughs> and so I also... Happen to love Torchic, as pretty much any viewer on my channel would know by now, and all of my friends. Torchic is my favorite. If I can see Torchic merch, it's very hard to resist buying it. I did resist buying a Torchic charm and Torchic earrings. I kind of want them, but you know, I couldn't spend all of my money. But I found this really cheap little Torchic plushie, and it's just so cute. She fits perfectly inside of my pocket, making her a real pocket monster. <laughs> and she's just really fluffy and adorable, so I'm really happy. She gets to be added to the plushie collection. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, that's a whole mood. We, we did a lot this weekend. The con was an exhausting thing, and we had fun with friends, though, so it was great. This is... Ooh. The plushie I got from the con, and it is of Miss Freezix, my Which, favorite. Yes. So we each got our favorite Pokemon together. <laughs> yeah. And I just think she is so cute. I mean, I've I never just, seen a mischievous plushie before, to be honest. Yeah, I she think has, it's really well made. This tiny little body. I love every individual little floof. It is just. So nice, and you can stick your fingers in between it. It's so satisfying. <laughs> I always like playing with like the floops that people put on the torchic. I like the ones where they actually make it like kind of fluffy. I feel like there. from the single, she looks like she's smiling in this one. She's just like, eh. Oh, it does kind of look like that. <laughs> That's really cute. It I think the item that I am the most excited about has to be this figure. It was literally the first purchase that I made at the con, and I told myself that I wanted to look for a figure specifically, and that that would be my only, like, super large purchase. So I saw this one. Lily White Saber has to be, like, one of my favorite appearances of hers. She just looks so gorgeous. I love the dress and everything. And I've seen this online before, and for more expensive than what I bought her at the con. And you know, I've actually drawn a picture of her in this form before because I like it so much, and so I figured that I just had to buy it. It also shows on the side here all the places that she connects. I already have two other Saber figures, so she's gonna go up in my dorm with those, but I thought that I would open it up and show it off. And while I'm working to get this tape off, I'll have my sister here show off a couple more of her purchases. Oh jeez, I forgot one item close. That's and okay, we'll we can grab that later. Do you have the cards with you? I think so. Okay. Well, next up we have this little guy. 
I'm not used to finding like other individual Hello Kitty characters. So it was pretty cool to find Dear Daniel. I never see like items for him because he's just kind of like Hello Kitty's boyfriend, you know. But yeah, he's in a little tux. He's all fancy. I am actually going to lose my mind. What? Because I think that I am in love all over again. This is exactly why she's my fate waifu. Look at how gorgeous she is. Yeah. I'm dying. Saber with a <laughs> ponytail is everything. It's such a cute I look. just like looking at her little butt. It's a little sword back here. Yeah, you hit butt. No. Wow. It actually ha You weren't kidding. It actually has her booty in panties. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna Fan open service. that up and try to like piece this together. And you can continue along because I have more tape to struggle with. Alright, so kinda found I'm not really going in order of like how I found everything, but that's okay. So I kinda found these together. Forget how to pronounce him, he's the little egg guy from Japan. Guretama. Guretama. So yeah, I got him in two poses. One with him in the eggshell. And one of him just sitting up so lazily. Guretama's like a big mood. I really yeah. wanna watch more. Me too. He's cute. I love his little like emojis. And then I also found this around that area. And this is, I believe, um, Grandpa Hello Kitty. I think he's like an artist. Sorry that I'm being so loud in the background. It's fine. <laughs> and it's really, it's just really cool to find other characters of Hello Kitty. Because I feel like I don't see that a lot. Alright, I pretty much have all the pieces here. This is crazy. So I started playing Fate Grand Order on my channel, and then, you know, I started having technical difficulties, so I didn't continue the playthrough. And I also deleted the game because I was getting a little bit irritated with the story mode, but I'm kind of debating re-downloading it just because of, like, all the ads I keep seeing on my Facebook about it and how freaking awesome some of these Fate Grand Order characters be looking. I love the quality of this, so like, her hand is detachable, so I'm just gonna put it on here with her sword. I'm like always so scared to like, break figure pieces, but yeah, she has it like forward, her Excalibur here. This is like insane, this is one of the most articulate figures that I've purchased. And you know, she's just kind of floating around like a mischievous type without her legs. <laughs> And then here are her legs, literally in panties. There's like a little bow there. And you can see like the definition of her bootay. Like, that's something. <laughs> you can literally see her butt. It's so tiny. <laughs> and then that attaches in here as well. This is seriously the figure with the most pieces I've ever done so far. I don't really like figures where you have to, like, attach and detach so many pieces just because I feel like I'll lose things or break things. Not that they aren't cool, but, like, I feel like it's just a lot. But for this one, I'm digging all of it. Down to every detail in, like, her heels and... Wow, if you look at her from the back, you can see that nice panty shot. <laughs> Typical anime things and a little stand for her. So, oh my goodness, I knew I was gonna be the most satisfied with this one. Yeah, you literally, they did not try to hide the panty shot at all. Like, you turn her directly back and you, it's, it's there for you. But from the front, she is pure soul. I love her hair, really looks windblown and epic. It's 
beautiful quality and definitely worth the money. I'll do this next one. So here I have these little Hello Kitty magnets and like they're kind of poorly made but the one that really caught my eye was this little angel Hello Kitty magnet holding a flower and yeah uh, basically I just got Hello Kitty things at the convention because that's basically all I'm into. I'm not really an anime person but I really enjoyed going to the con this year. And I have a few more of these. You can like do the YouTuber hand behind the thing to like accent it more sort of. Yeah. <laughs> and this one she's just like sipping a drink. This one she's holding a flower. Can't see it yeah. that well. Um and then it's hard with lighting. In this one, it's her and another Hello Kitty holding a bow. Thank you. But yeah, those are all little magnets, and I can't wait to put them somewhere in my room. I have had on my purse since my birthday this little Mimikyu charm. I also have one on my school bag that I bought myself forever ago. But this one was a birthday present from Patrick Pyro, and I've had that on here. But at the con, I found another one I had to add to my purse, which is my cutie Torchic, of course. It's my favorite Pokemon, can't resist it, and now I want to carry her with me wherever I go. So now I'll have a little piece of her. I also don't know what I'm going to put in here yet, but my friend gave me like some of the leftover stuff that he didn't really want from this one big box he got. And there was Chopper from One Piece. I've watched a lot of random episodes and like have seen some of the beginning. At this point I don't know if I'll ever be able to actually like watch and keep up with One Piece, but I do like Chopper just because he's little and cute. And it's just like this little thing. You can put some stuff in there. His head comes off and it's adorable. I really dig it. It's just a little keychain, so. You can continue if you'd like. Alright, I don't have a lot of items, but oh man. I got these Pokemon that are what would you call them? They're bootleg toys. They're not legitimate. Yeah, so they're just kind of knockoffs. They're not real, but you know, they basically are Pokemon, just very, very bad. Very bad. <laughs> uh, this is Mistrevis. Of course, I, I had to find one. It was really hard. The ones I did find were just like pure green and they didn't have like paint on the eyes or anything. Yeah, but. a lot of the toys are very off color, and it's just vile plume. They made gray. You really know that it's not being manufactured correctly, and so some of them I like to buy as jokes rather than legitimate. If you're gonna buy Pokemon toys, I wouldn't recommend <gasps> going for the <laughs> bloopers. I'm sorry. Wait, I hope that's not this different than the other. I can take it. Like, if you're gonna buy Pokemon toys, I wouldn't recommend buying the bootleg to support that crap. But we kinda did, because we found the best ones that we could. Yeah. Do you have mine as well? Because I don't... No, I don't. I don't know where mine are at. They might... Okay, so now I'm finding out that perhaps I also put those little toys that I got in the bag that we're not sure where it is. I got two Torchics that were really cute, and a Combuskin and Blaziken. Or did I get an Arcanine? I don't think I ended up, but... You know, I'm kind of feeling sad now, because that bag contained the comics of the Electric Tales of Pikachu, and Pikachu, like, shocks back, and I thought that those were going to be really cool. And I might not even get to include them in this video or see them ever again because I don't know where this bag is. 
So my advice to you if you're going to cons is make sure that everything's together. It's really easy to lose things and it's just a mess. And I actually have some con stories to talk about later, but I guess we'll focus on the positives and what we do have here. Some other stuff that in came included in this one big box that my friend got were like these emoji erasers. There's like this little chick dancing. This really has nothing to do with comics or anime, but it was in there for some reason. There's this heart eraser and the poop emoji, which is one of my favorites. So I snatched those up. I also got this yokai watch tumbler from him. He didn't know what it was. I obviously do. The Jibanyan over here. I used to watch the anime a lot and I've been wanting to play the games just because it has like the Pokemon vibes but also mixed with old Japanese legends which is cool. So hopefully I can get one of those games at some point. Then I also found some stuff that I wanted to give to my boyfriend. His favorite Pokemon happens to be Arcanine, and I saw this one for only a dollar. All of these that I'm about to show were only a dollar, so I just had to snatch it up. It looks like he used to have some sort of, like, action, because, like, his tail is mobile, and there's this open spot in his mouth, so I'm going to assume he used to, like, shoot fire or something, but unfortunately that didn't come with it. Then I also found this little Darth Vader. My boyfriend's a huge Star Wars nerd. He got me into Star Wars. I watched it for the first time with him, so it's cute. And then also there's this Yoda. You can kind of like do a magic eight ball thing and ask it questions like, will my YouTube channel succeed? And it says, use the force. <laughs> will anyone watch this video? Try not do. What? <laughs> you know, it, it says random things. And then there's this Darth Sidious one. And I don't know what he was supposed to do. He kind of has like the stuff in the back here, but I can't seem to get it to do anything, which is unfortunate. But I got them more just for like the figure value and how cute and funny it was. <clears throat> and then... This bag was also included in some of the stuff in my friend's mystery box that I showed off earlier in the video, so this is mine now, I guess, on top of everything else. We also have some Pokemon cards that I picked up. First of all, we have Growlithe, obviously a form of Arcanine, so I'm giving that to my boyfriend. I saw Empoleon, which I love. Growls for him as well. This one's really cute though too. I like the art for that. S Cynthia's Togekiss. I love Togekiss and the fact that it had Cynthia too I wanted. Breaks in. Super cute. Esper is one of my top 10 so of course I had to pick up on those. Mistrevis. Like the best art I've ever seen for a Mistrevis card. I really dig this one. And that's for my sister. There's Dino. A real cutie. One of my favorites as well. More Growlithe. A cute scampering skitty for a cute sister. Torchic. I think I already have this card, but it was like ripped in a corner, so I wanted to get a nicer one of it. Another little skitty card. It looks like it's made out of clay. I kind of dig some of those cards that they do like that. This looks like a CGI Esper. <laughs> Another Mistrevis, just to add to her collection. Arcanine, of course. Just because when I find out that people like things, I overspoil them with stuff that I find for it. Another Mistrevis looking really mysterious off in the night. Curlia, she looks like she's just praying and it was really cute. If you've watched my top 20 Pokemon videos, she always ends up in there somewhere. So I had to pick her up. This really cute torture card with this like little bud up in here. So cute. A whooper. I don't know why I was really attracted to this whooper card. Quagsire is also one of my favorites, so I just thought it was adorable and I needed it. <laughs> High Dragon. Yes. <laughs> Will forever be one of my faves. Another really cool mystery this. 
And then I also found Miss Magius for her. Ooh. And that's it for the Pokemon cards and everything overall. So let's hope and pray that we do find the bag of stuff that we're missing and that it's not just lost forever because, you know, at a con, people could be nice and turn it in or they could have stolen it. And also, even if we call now, the event's kind of over, so I don't really know what'll happen with that. But overall, with what we do have, my favorite thing here is the Saber figure. Do you have, like, a personal favorite of something that you picked up? Um, I mean, I obviously really enjoy this plushie. Yeah, I think, I think she's it's awesome. really cool. I really wish I could find more, like, Pokemon girl figures when I go there. That would be awesome. I want to pick up some of those. But there will be another part here, including stories about what happened at the con. But for now, this is it, and we'll see ya. So quite a bit happened while we were at the con. We didn't really end up going to any panels or anything. This year was kind of just really relaxed. Mostly we were just going around checking out as much merchandise as we could find and just enjoying time with one another and goofing around at the hotel and stuff rather than meeting a ton of people. Also, just like, there were some really cool guests there, but there was nobody, like, particularly that I had to see, so we just sort of did our own thing. And unfortunately, while we were filming the one section of this video where I was showing off all of Brendan's stuff that he got in his big hundred dollar box, we ended up leaving and we did in fact leave behind those Pokemon comics and also a mystery of a finger puppet and a few Pokemon toys. So that was actually kind of devastating to me because I got those comics for like a really good deal. All of the Electric Tales of Pikachu, and another series of comics featuring Pikachu. I can't remember the title at this moment, but I contacted the DeVos place where it's held, the security there, and they couldn't find anything, which means that somebody probably took it. I mean, I figured that that was probably what was going to happen, but we couldn't retrieve those items, so... It's pretty sad. I'm kind of sad about it still, but it just goes to show you, you should always double check everything, even if you feel like you're sure that you have everything. It's always good to keep track, have a list, and I would also recommend leaving everything in one big bag, if at all possible, just to make sure that you can't lose it. Because the more bags you have, the more likely it is that you might leave one of them behind. And I am very well known for my absent-mindedness and leaving stuff behind all the time to begin with. So my sister happened to notice that there was a bag on the table, but didn't say anything. I mean, it happens because, you know, we kind of already said that we had everything, but we didn't. So that's... A shame. So maybe I can find those comics online or somewhere. Hopefully for a cheap price like at the con. I got eight comics for $16 I believe so it was a really good deal. <laughs> but aside from that I wanted to of course make people aware to always look and make sure you have everything when you go to a con. But also, whenever you're traveling anywhere, let alone a con, you should always be aware of the people around you. While I was at the con, I was asked by quite a few people to take pictures with them. And of course, that's like one of the most flattering things to me ever, is when somebody wants me to take a picture with them because they like my cosplay or they like the anime that I'm cosplaying. I like to find other fans and... People who think that I do a good job, it makes me feel really great about myself. But the thing is, when you're at a con, obviously you have a lot of things like bags of merch or a purse that has your money and everything else in there. And when one guy asked if I would take a picture with him, I happened to have my purse in my hand. And at first I didn't know where to set it until eventually my sister took it and held onto it for me. 
I mean, I could have just like held it in my hands, I guess, while taking the picture, but I like to just put things aside so that I can take a better looking picture, if that makes any sense. But she ended up taking my purse and the guy was just kind of like, oh, I could have held on to that for you. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> I don't think so. That's the last thing I would do with my purse is hand it to a stranger. So always make sure at a con that you are fully aware where all of your items are. You don't want to lose anything. It's so easy to lose like a wallet, cell phone, your friends. So <laughs> you always have to keep track of everything and you really can't trust some of the people around you. Like it's just not a good idea. So it's very good when you go to a con to travel with friends, have people who can keep track of you that you can call. Going in groups is really a good idea because it's so easy to get lost. And also because of an experience at a con, you should always remember to be wary of people. I told one story before on my stories with Lyra that there was a person at a con who hugged me like without asking permission first and you know it was fine it ended up being okay but like I said uh, sometimes people don't really control themselves and it can be an issue and we kind of ran into a really weird experience at our hotel. So my sister, my friend Brendan, and our friend Rebecca all went to the hot tub because we just wanted to relax and have fun together. And over in the pool area, there were all of these guys and I think like eventually a family came in or something. But these guys were being really loud and obnoxious. They were holding beers. Um, we knew that they were drunk and I was kind of talking to my friends and I was just like, they're being pretty loud. That's kind of annoying. And at first we were just ignoring it until one of the guys that was drunk decided to come over to where we were sitting in the hot tub and proceed to be weird because people are weird and this is why I don't trust people. I have also told stories on my channel before about having weird experiences with guys. It happens to me and people around me way more than it should and honestly because of this I just don't trust older men in general at all whatsoever. So when this random guy who was clearly drunk came over and came into the hot tub, I was kind of immediately like, mmm, I don't know how I feel about this. We were on the other side of the hot tub and he was towards the front in his own little area and he just tried to like initiate conversation with us and we talked about the con and dressing up and this and that. But it was really weird. He said a lot of weird things and by where his eyes were going, you could kind of tell that he was, you know, looking us up and down at us females. No, thank you. <laughs> he complimented the Superman t-shirt that I was wearing and the symbol is kind of, you know, in this vicinity. And I'm just like, I'm straight up not having a good time. And yeah, he was also looking at both my sister and Rebecca. And you know, I kind of wonder if he also had some interest in my male friend Brendan, based on some of the comments he made, which suggested very contradictory things. He was talking to us, like, you know, he had asked about Comic Con and our outfits and if it was fun and this and that. And he also, uh, was making really weird conversation. He talked about having a wife and six children, but also kept going on about how much he liked cock. Like literally in those words, he was just like talking about being really into things. And it was just very strange. Eventually his friends came over, I think to like reel him in but it just kind of like made things more weird because when one of his friends came over he was talking about how 
oh, I love this guy, and he's gay, but he totally won't tell you that he's gay, but this guy, he gay, he like dick, and I'm just like, what, what's happening here? He acted like he was attracted to this friend and saying all these random things and then talking about having a wife and six kids and how rough that was and that's why they were drinking or something and like I don't understand what was going on at all there. The only part I do know <laughs> is that as soon as he found out our ages it only cut off one option for him. <laughs> so, like, going back to talking about the costumes, he was talking about loving Deadpool. My friend Brendan dressed up as Deadpool, and he was saying all this stuff about how his whole house was pretty much Deadpool-themed and stuff, and it sounded like he was, like, trying to show off and lying and all this stuff, and I don't really know. And he talked about how into the evil queen he was, which was a cosplay that Rebecca had done. And, you know, it kind of suggested some stuff there too, which was weird. He said he didn't know what mine was supposed to be, but it sounded cool and stuff. And I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> you don't even know. Get out of here. You're gross. You're like 30-something to 40-something probably. Get out of my vicinity but eventually he like asked our ages and it, it, I didn't really want to say but just because I kind of wanted to clarify like one of us here is a minor like you, you know Brendan, Rebecca and I we are all adults but my sister is 17 and I wanted to make that clear so I did, and as soon as he heard that she was a minor, he was like, he was talking to us on our way out and kind of like complimenting us and this weird stuff, and then he looks at her and he's like, I can't say anything about you. And it's just like, D -d -d don't say anything about the rest of us either. None of us are comfortable with this. And he had said that maybe he would stop by the con, and that was the point at which all of us were like returning to our hotel room, and we were talking about how whack this whole experience was, and we're like, okay, so if we see this guy at the con, we're going to call each other immediately. And this, my friends, is why you should always watch out for strangers, stay in a group, have a plan if something is to happen. When this happened, I made sure to tell my boyfriend about it, to, you know, make sure that everybody had each other's numbers and stuff, and we always stay in a group anyway, there's at least partnerships of us when we're traveling through the con, so it usually works out, but we just wanted to make sure that in case something happened, we would all be aware, and he didn't end up showing up again. Uh, we did see him the next day in the morning when we were leaving for the con, and he was like, Hey, it's the creepy guy from last night! And that's pretty much how he introduced himself, and that was our last interaction with him. But it was just a friendly reminder that there are weirdos no matter where you go, and you're probably always gonna want to watch your back and so on. And it made me think, hmm, I wonder if I should start bringing mace to cons. <laughs> So yeah, that was probably the wildest experience we had, besides one of our friends getting super wasted in the hotel room while well, we all took care of her, but you know, it's, it's all good. <laughs> there is some random footage from that, I believe, and if I can access it, then I'll throw it in the end here, but if not, then sorry, and this is it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that it's extremely long. I just kind of wanted to put everything together. And it's not like the best vlog. I honestly just kind of showed off a lot of our stuff and threw these stories in because I wasn't able to do as much as I would have liked to. But I am going to ElmaCon in March and I am going to do my very best to vlog for that and get more stuff in. And, you know, 
depending on guests and different things, I can <laughs> have more vlog footage that is interesting and maybe I can meet some people I really like. Like I met Johnny Young Bosch last year and that made me extremely happy. But for this next con, I am going to be doing my Kakegurui cosplays again because why wouldn't I? So I am most likely going to do the same order once more. I'll do Kirari, I'll do Yumeko, and then for the third day, a lot of times I go casual, but I might choose to cosplay, and if I do, I am thinking about doing Mirai Kuriyama again just because I love her so much. And if I didn't do her, it would be Blake from Ruby, so... I don't know if anybody is going to ElmaCon. It's kind of a smaller convention, but it seems like every year we get more and more people. But I get in for free, and it's going to be great, so... I'll see anybody there who is going. Anybody in the area should check it out, because I think that it's fun, even if you're not a super huge nerd like I am, so yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. Please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I would love to see you guys in another video. Bye!